Hello and welcome to this learning video. As discussed in the last learning video, we are back with the problem on case number one. In the last learning video, we have discussed four different cases depending on the value of C. And here in this learning video, we are going to discuss about the case one. What would be the Fourier series for the interval 0 to 12? That is our case one. And then we'll find out the Fourier series expansion for the function that is we'll solve the problem on this topic okay so if the interval is 0 to 12 then the Fourier series for the function f of x is a0 by 2 summation n equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n pi x by l plus b n sin n pi x by l where a0 is this a n is this and b n is this okay now uh, the problem that we are going to take here in this uh, under this learning video requires some integration so that integration I am writing here as a note uh, you might uh, remember this integration of e to the power ax into sine bx dx do you remember this formula what it's what is this 1 upon coefficient of x a square plus coefficient of x b square into e to the power a x into what is it a x into this a sine b x minus derivative of sine b x is cos b x into b this is the formula for this now I want you to write down the integration for this e to the power ax into cos bx dx. So you can just pause the video for a few seconds, try to write down the formula for this by looking at this and then you can resume the video. I hope you might have uh, written the formula of this. So let's recheck. So, how we follow the formula for this? 1 upon coefficient of x square, that is a square, then coefficient of x square plus b square. Then e to the power ax as it is, okay? And here we have to write a cos bx minus, what is derivative of cos? Is minus sine, so plus sine bx into b. Okay, so we are going to make use of this formulas. Fine. Now, let us take an example on this. So, example one. Obtain obtain Fourier series obtain Fourier series expansion obtain Fourier series expansion for e to the power x in the interval in the interval 0 less than equal to x less than equal to 2l okay so we know that in the interval 0 to 2 and what is my Fourier series so you can uh, start by writing down the given thing you can just write let f of x is equal to what is it e to the power x and the interval is 0 less than equal to x less than equal to 2l now let f of x equal to this be the be the Fourier series be the required be the required four year series okay where a0 is this a n is this and b n is this okay now my objective is to find out the value of a0 a n and b n after finding out these values of a0 a n b n we substitute in this in this equation say 1 
okay and after putting these values of this Fourier coefficients a0 a and b and in this one you will get the required Fourier series for the given function e to the power x okay so let us start with finding out e uh, a0 okay so to obtain a0 so what is a0 a0 is equal to 1 by l integration 0 to 2l what is my f of x e power x dx and what is integration of e power x integration of e power x is e power x so 1 by l e power x limit 0 to 2l so this is 1 by l e to the power 2l minus e to the power 0 so my a0 comes out to be e to the power 2l minus 1 upon l this is my a0 simple now let us find out a n and b n so i am keeping this uh, f of x as it is uh, this f of x this Fourier series now let me find out a n so what is a n to obtain a n what is it a n is equal to 1 by l integration 0 to 2l f of x that's e to the power x into cos n pi x by l dx simple now you can just uh, solve this to get a n so a n is equal to 1 by l now you can apply the formula that we have just discussed okay so can you able to write down the formula for this or the integration for this with the help of formula yes 1 upon coefficient of x square so this is 1 square 1 plus coefficient of x square that is n pi by l whole square into e to the power x as it is then then minus okay then a a is 1 so this is 1 into cos n pi x by l simple minus what is derivative of cos minus sign so this is plus sign n pi x by l into derivative of n pi x by l is n pi by l and you can apply the limit 0 to 2l okay so what you will be getting you will be getting 1 by l this is uh, taking the LCM of this so this is uh, 1 upon this is L square plus N square pi square upon L square okay squaring and taking LCM divided by L square so I am taking that L square to the numerator into e to the power x so in place of e to the power x you can substitute upper limit so e to the power 2l into what is it 1 into put x is equal to 2l so 2 will remain l l get cancelled so cos 2 n pi so this is cos 2 n pi okay minus lower limit plus this what is sine 2 l so when you substitute here you will be getting 2 n pi sine 2 n pi is 0 sine 2 n pi into n pi by l okay minus lower limit e to the power 0 which is 1 into what is it cos 0 plus sin 0 into n pi by l okay so this completes the upper limit minus lower limit 
So, when you solve further, you'll be getting 1 by L into L square upon L square plus N square pi square into this is e to the power 2n cos 2n pi is uh, 1 minus 1 to the power 2n that's 1 so I'm writing 1 to the power 2n into 1 sin 2n pi is 0 0 into anything 0 minus e to the power 0 is 1 cos 0 is 1 sin 0 is 0 0 into anything is 0 Okay, I am writing this a0 value of a0 here. So, I am getting a0 is e to the power 2l minus 1 upon l. Okay, now, this is my a n. So, what is my a n? My a n comes out to be 1 l get cancelled with this. So, this is l upon l square plus n square pi square into, what about this? e to the power 2l into 1 so this is e to the power 2l minus 1 this is my a n simple don't uh, get scared about this answer this is the value of a n okay now on a similar lines we are going to find out b n so my a n comes out to be l upon L square plus N square pi square into e to the power 2L minus 1. Simple. Now, let us find out Bn. So, what is Bn? Bn is to obtain Bn. What is Bn? Bn is 1 by L. Instead of cos, there would be just sine. Simple. So, this will remain as it is. Here, it would be sin n pi x by n and what is the derivative of sin cos so this is cos n pi x by n into n pi by n so applying the limits so all remain as it is just the change over here so this would be sin 2n pi and this is minus cos minus cos 2n pi into n pi by l okay minus e to the power 0 this is sine 0 minus cos 0 n pi by l simple so this is just like buy one get one offer you just solve the problem for uh, a n and for b n most of the steps will remain as it is taking care of some small little things so this is e to the power 2 l this is sin 2n pi is 0 minus cos 2n pi is 1 so this is minus n pi by l here e to the power 0 is 1 sin 0 is 0 minus cos 0 is 1 so this is n pi by l okay so my final answer is this e to the power n pi by l common e to the power 2l minus 1 this is minus and here it is also minus so i can take minus n pi by l common minus n pi by l common so e to the power 2l minus 1 then this l get cancelled with this and we remain with this bn sorry this is bn this is my bn so what is bn bn comes out to be minus n pi upon l square plus n square pi square sorry no. yeah n square pi square coefficient of okay n square pi square into e to the power 2l minus 1 this is my value of bn okay now after getting these values of uh, a0 a and b and you have to substitute all these values over here in equation number one okay so just uh, writing down the things
equation 1 becomes equation 1 becomes f of x is equal to a0 what is a0 a0 is this f of x is equal to a0 by 2 so this is e to the power 2l minus 1 upon 2l because 2 was there plus summation what is a n a n comes out to be just a minute plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity what is my a n a n is a n is l upon l square plus n square pi square into e to the power e to the power right here is e to the power 2n minus 1 into cos n pi x by l plus bn what is my bn my bn is this so this is minus so I, I can write minus n pi upon l square plus n square pi square minus n pi upon l square plus n square pi square e to the power 2l minus 1 into into what sine n pi x by l and this is nothing but the required Fourier series for the function e to the power x in the interval 0 to l. Okay. This problem that we have taken is, uh, is in general we are taking the interval 0 to 2l. Now sometimes it may happen that this uh, interval 0 to 2l which is arbitrary interval can take the value of l to be say 2. So it would be 0 to 4. If L is equal to 1, then we can have problem find the Fourier series expansion for the function in the interval 0 to 2. Okay, something like that. So, in the very next class, we are going to take uh, that problem. Okay, so thank you for watching this learning video and happy learning.